This week's kids lesson is about Ruth. She lived in a land called Moab. Ruth married into a family of a woman named Naomi. But all of the men in Naomi's family died and Ruth was left without a husband. One day, Naomi decided to go back to her homeland of Israel and Ruth decided to go with her. Well, on the journey, Naomi told Ruth to go back to her mother's home and may the Lord bless you. But Ruth was determined to go with Naomi and she said, don't ask me to leave you. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you live, I will live. Your people will be my people and your God will be my God. Through love and kindness, Ruth would not give up on Naomi. God had a plan for Ruth and guided her along the way. The Lord provided Ruth with a job working in the field. Ruth never gave up, and because of that, God rewarded her faithfulness. She married a godly man, and Ruth's son would carry out God's plan to bring Jesus to earth. Hi there, Chicken Nuggets. It's me, Carl. And I'm Andy. And welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hey Carl, how you doing? Well, I'm doing as good as a fox wearing yoga pants on a train in the Netherlands. So... Great. Doing great. Okay, awesome. So what's that? Oh, this? You've never seen a mystery music jar before? Can't say I have. What does it do? Well, whatever feeling you're having, it plays that kind of music. It can sense what you're feeling and send a song to match it. Kind of like a song hug, but without the actual hugging. Does it have batteries? Nope. Electrical cords? Nope. Then how does it work? I told you, Andy, it's a Mr. Music Jar. Watch, I'll have it play a happy song. And if I want a sad type of song. I felt that, right here. Or perhaps a song to get me prepared for battle. Or a song if I by chance see an extra chicken nugget at the bottom of my bag. That was, that was really good. Can I try? <laughs> Here we go. I don't like this game. You know what else it does? It also plays inspirational music. So anytime you want to give an inspirational speech, you just open this thing up. Watch. Pineapples. Aren't they crazy? They look like they're from out of this world. Who knew that they're not? They're from this world. Pineapples are crazy. You know what else is crazy? Aliens. They scare me. I don't know whether or not I believe in them, but what? The Statue of Liberty. Paul Bunyan. Trees. Cut wood. And Tabasco sauce. Oh, hey, Jada. <laughs> Hi, Andy. Wait. Have you been crying? No. Yes. Yes, he has. Don't let him fool you. What are you up to, Jada? Oh, no, not a lot. Just checking in to make sure you guys read this story for this week, because we are about to go through it now. Yes, <laughs> of course we read the story. Why didn't you remind me? Oh, yeah, um, I really love the story. The story was super cool. I love when that person did that thing. And then when Moses was, came out of nowhere, I was like, rah, and did that one super specific thing that we all remember. Yep. Moses wasn't in this story. Well, I think what Andy was trying to say is Moses loved God. And since he loved God, God is everywhere. And okay, we didn't read the story. <laughs> it's okay, guys. I can tell you all about it. Open up your Bible to Ruth chapter 1, Carl. Now, there was a woman named Naomi, but sadly, her husband had passed away. Oh, that is sad. Did she have any other family? She did. Two sons. Oh, that's good. But they died, too. <gasps> so let me get this straight. Naomi lost both of her sons and her husband. Why would you tell the story with such a sad ending, Jada? 
Guys, we're only at the beginning. Oh, carry on. So Naomi was obviously upset about losing her husband and two sons and wanted to move back to her hometown. Oh, by herself? Well, her sons each had a wife, so she still had her two daughters-in-law, and one of them was named Ruth. Hey, that's the name of the book. Good catch, Andy. Thanks, Carl. Now, Ruth didn't know a lot about God, but she did love her mother-in-law. And even though she could easily go back to her mother and family, for some reason, she felt she needed to stay with Naomi. Well, what did Naomi say about that? Well, she loved her daughters-in-law, but she felt they'd be better off if they went back to their own families. But Ruth, she clung to Naomi. Did the other sister-in-law go back to her family? She did, but Ruth wouldn't. It was actually really cool. Ruth looked at Naomi and told her she would follow her. Follow her? What does that mean? Like, walk behind her? Kinda. Ruth said that she would go where Naomi went and she would worship the God that Naomi did. She was committed to following Naomi for the rest of her life. Wow, that's real devotion. It really is. I wonder why she did that. Well, both of them had experienced terrible loss. And Ruth, being the younger one, looked up to Naomi as someone she trusted a leader. So Naomi was Ruth's leader? Yeah, in a way. Ruth decided to put her trust in Naomi and it ultimately worked out because God took care of them. Ruth even found a new husband. Wow, how awesome is it that Naomi was there for Ruth? And that Ruth was there for Naomi? It's very cool and that's why I wanted us to read this story because no matter where we are in life or what we go through, we will always have people to help us and lead us. That is some good news. I love knowing that God can give me leaders that I can follow. Amen to that. <laughs> Landy, that's your cue. Oh, yeah, uh, that's our big idea. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Today's big idea is God can give me leaders I can follow. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. God, God can, can give, give me leaders, leaders I can follow. I can follow. Yeah, right. you hear that, Andy? God can do that. He can. <laughs> what? All right, Andy, we've learned a lot today. Yep. I think this calls for a celebration. All right, let's go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> See you next week, kids. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of It's time for our Bible story. This story starts off sad, but it doesn't end that way. Naomi had run into some very hard times. Her husband died and her two sons died also. This left Naomi and the two women that had married her sons, Orpah and Ruth, to fend for themselves. Naomi needed to start a new life, but she thought she might be too old to do so. She told Orpah and Ruth to leave her and start a new life of their own. They were all very sad, but Orpah eventually did leave. Ruth, on the other hand, refused to do so. Even though Orpah left and Naomi told Ruth to do the same, Ruth saw something in Naomi. She believed that they were meant to be together. Ruth decided she would follow Naomi wherever she went. Ruth told Naomi she would make Naomi's people and Naomi's God her own. It was the right thing to do. The two returned to Naomi's home, where she was from. Once there, it was Ruth's own leadership, as well as following Naomi's lead, 
that allowed them to find a new life together. Ruth took the lead by choosing to stay with Naomi, even after Orpah left. Ruth also took the lead by following someone worth following. Whenever you feel like you don't know who you can trust or who you should follow, remember Ruth and remember this. God gives me leaders I can follow. I really couldn't have even done or begun to plan this huge project without my wonderful parents. I had a plan, but they helped me to do it. They are the ones who kind of planned it all, but I followed them. I'm really happy that we have people like parents, teachers, friends, and family who can help us. God gives me leaders I can follow. So friends, we cleaned this place up for everyone to be able to play. Hmm, maybe we should open the park with a make-believe parade. I'll get it started over here and you keep it going over there. Just get in line and march and sing and dance! <laughs> For taking the lead with me this week. I love getting to grow with all of you. Bye! Micah 6 8. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God.